Welcome, man. Welcome. Welcome back to the channel, guys. I, that's, I come out here to check this car out. Now, this is like an 08 caravan. Thing about it, it's no key. Okay, so the customer had the car at, I think they had it at another shop, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it's a no start. No crank, no start. Now, <laughs> see, I'm not sure... First of all, guys, if you don't know, uh, and I can't believe this is still happening, 08 caravans, most of the car caravans in Chrysler, there's a recall, uh, an issue with the skill module. So what Chrysler decided to do was uh, every car that's uh, included in this recall is going to get a skill module and two new keys. Now, I can't even determine if the nose crank is because of... Uh, anything else so in other words i have to do the recall first now just say hypothetically if they didn't have this recall then yes i will have to proceed with normal regular no start diagnosis all right but one or two things either this customer's mechanics has told them look you got a recall just tore it up there they're gonna do it for free and they're right uh we're obligated to just do this you're gonna end up with a brand new security skill module and two new keys all right, and you do nothing. So, but now one of, and another thing I, I, I overheard up there was this mechanic, so-called mechanic of this customer, has totally, totally just got all their money and didn't know what they was doing. They didn't know what they was doing. Okay, now you can charge diagnostic time all you want. It's I, I'm I'm okay with that from time to time. We need extra time and money to further, go further with a diagnosis. All right. So he got so far deep into it where he couldn't back out. Then some told him to check on the computer for something. And then he realized that's a no start recall on this car. Ding, 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 ding. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Ma'am, we, we've gone as far as we've gone. Uh, it'll be $800 for all my diagnostic time. Uh, you need to pay up and uh, we can release the car. So I assume she paid the poor guy, uh, paid the guy, and uh, they was able to release her car. <laughs> release it in the form of, because it's still a no start, release it in the form of sending it to a dealership, having it towed to a dealership. Now, I at least hope, I want to believe the mechanic was nice enough and helpful enough to at least get her car towed to the dealership. In other words, pay for the tow bill, because that would be totally cruel. To charge the lady all that money, don't touch it, don't even touch the problem. First of all, you don't know what you're doing. And then, but it's it's fairly easy and simple for somebody to get online and find something out and then make the necessary adjustment. So for all I know, in fact, I think this car was told here by the dealership. I don't know nothing. I'm not I don't know if the customer know where their van is even at. I know this shop that was working on it might be responsible for getting it started. So if they found out there was a recall, how, why not pay for the tow bill and get it shipped here, get it done, and get it back to the shop and take credit for it? I don't know. Okay, so I'm not going to assume. But, hey, we'll see what happens, guys. For now, I got to get it running and get it fixed, get the recall done at least, because that is a free safety issue. All so, right? so I don't see a key, so I assume they expect the recall to take care of everything. I don't know, but we're going to find out, guys. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a quick ad break. I just want to let y'all know what's going on. I got to go inside and uh, see if we got parts for this recall. I'm going to have to bust all this out and uh, replace this module and, and, of course, two new keys. So, guys. I will be right back. Let me go inside the parts department. Stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. I will be right back. All right, guys. I'm back. Look, what we have here. Here's the recall. And like I say, it solely consists of uh, a new security module, which is this right here. Oh, man. This lady got lucky, boy, because this is an expensive job. And to top it off, Chrysler decided to throw in two new keys. All right, so but you only have to program one. The other one is going to be programmed. All right, guys, so I'm going to start taking things apart. And so you know, the module that I'm going out of is right here. Now, I don't know why I'm showing you this. this is a recall, but if you happen to have one and yours is not a recall, you never done one, um, I guess you can watch and find out how it's done. But the only other problem you're going to have, guys, is... Uh, it's, it has to be programmed. So I don't know what kind of 
scan tool you guys have or will you even be able to program you got to get the security skim key from the parts department in order for this to work so hypothetically if you have one that's not a recall and you go to replace this if you can't program this don't replace it because you're going to get in even more uh deeper problems okay somebody already got these okay all right so let me start taking this stuff off guys i got some work to do they already got some of it out already All right, guys, let me show you something. Inside of here, uh, I don't know if y'all can see that, but there's a screw. So here's my connection I'm going for. That's the way this sits. There's going to be a screw right here and a little Phillip head screw right here. So you just merely have to remove those two screws and they fall right out. Only problem, you may have to remove, uh, you might have to, you know, get a good position with the panel adjusted. That way you can get it. Okay, let's get it, man. All right, guys, I had to put my jump box on it. Oh, nice little 3.3 engine, okay, uh, because I suspect the power is low. So what we're going to do now, I have everything put together. The only thing left, guys, is to program it. Now, uh, here's the key. Let me turn that key on. I went and got the skill module that I need for the security code in order for it to work. So now, let's go. Yes, it is a recall. But I have it programmed now. So well, I need to go. I hate these little old bitty screens. I need to go on the WCM, guys. Basically, I want to tell it. Uh, it's a new WCM. Uh, let's go on the miscellaneous. Okay, I'm in the WCM module. WCM stands for Wireless Control Module. So, because I replaced the WCM, I want to go on the, there's an option for PCM in place, there's an option for programming keys, but you can't program keys until the heartbeat of the system is programmed. Okay, uh, reset, win configuration, no, win replacement. Okay, win replacement, uh, that's what we want. Uh, the function should only be done when the win and key fobs are being replaced. Yes, they are being replaced. Now it's going to ask me for the skim code. Okay, I have retrieved the skim code. So let me enter that in. Hit continue. Please verify that it is the code. Yes. And you have to verify because it will lock you out. Uh, hit continue. Now, like I say, when you do this, you do not have to do the keys. Pin has been programmed. That's a wrap, guys. This thing should fire right up. Let's see. And there it is. It's running. Okay, so uh, I had no keys anyway, so they got a good deal. So guys, only thing I want to warn you about, I mean, I'm not sure you learned anything from this because this is a dealer only type thing that can be done at a dealer. But I guess it, the consumer, I guess what you need to be aware of is how not to get scammed, okay? You can easily be scammed. Some of these shops will get you so far deep into stuff just to find out it's easy for you to get out of it, okay? Now, some shops can be doing it blindly. They cannot know. Okay, this guy, I'm sure he didn't know. I don't, I'm not, I won't even, I don't even want to believe he intentionally scammed you. I'm going to call it inadvertently scammed you. You got inadvertently scammed. You got scammed because he didn't know. Uh, a lot of times, man, you, not know, you do not know what procedures to take when you have a no start. I'm sure he have the key, but after he found out that there was a key recall on it, why not just snatch away the key? That's your bill out right there. Man, you're going to have to go to the dealer. We're going to pay your tow truck, your tow bill. Or she might not even know any of this, guys. 
Okay, they might have took it upon themselves to bring, have this towed to the dealership to get everything work. And when they, when it, when the car is driven back to their shop, uh, they can merely take all the credit for everything. Wow, that shop is so nice. They fixed my car, got it running. They even gave me two new keys. <laughs> when all alone, guys, you had a recall that was done by the dealership. Chrysler had a recall. It's, recalls are safety issues. So this is exactly what could happen. This is why we call it a safety issue. You can lose communication between your key and your skin module and not start. That makes it safety. So Chrysler figured, let's get this repaired. Let's make it a recall and uh, let's get them done. It's a shame that this recall been out this long and there's still some minivans out there that haven't been done. Guys, if you own a 09, this is a 08, 09. If you own, I'm going to put the information right here on the screen. If you own any vans between this year model, please, please, please go check and make sure your recall have been done. Okay? Because you can end up with a no start, end up with a shop that don't know what's going on, don't know what they're doing. They can end up charging you a lot of money you can end up paying it and you can end up getting your car back thinking they fix your car when in fact they basically had it subletted out to the shop to the dealership to get repaired so inadvertently scam is what i am dub this video because i do not want to believe that that shop on purposely did this on purpose i think they got so far deep in it and didn't know how to get out and then they basically logged on so Consumers, customers, if you don't know if your car is equipped with a recall, ask me. I'll tell you. Okay, if not, merely do a little research on the online. Everything is pretty much free these days, and you will find out if your car does a recall apply to your car. All right, guys, I don't want to spend a lot of time on this. I just don't want my subscribers. Hopefully, you are subscribed if you're watching this video. In fact, I welcome you to subscribe. Okay, I will be giving out. Uh, information that can help you it doesn't you don't have to own a chrysler dodge jeep or ram uh, i'm gonna be I'm, fin I'm about to start talking about all different makes and models okay the channel is about to branch out okay now i will not lose my base uh, most of my base own chrysler jeep dodge and stuff like that so yes those videos will come daily guys but for the most part i need a bigger audience and the best way to get it is to talk about more different brands of cars but I don't want none of y'all to get scammed. Scam, scam, scam. That's what I'm going to name this video. Avoid getting scammed. Okay? That's all I have, guys. Thanks for watching. Come and subscribe. And I'll see y'all on the next video.